And I love this too. Charles, instead of watching Rick and Morty all the time, please do something about the project. Why? Because you bought at a certain price point. You're not happy with that. <laughs> and it's somehow my job to control the world. All right. And we tell everybody what we're doing. We tell them the deadlines. We make progress towards it. We launched Bloody Alonzo this, uh, this month. It was the hardest launch we've ever done. We did it. Just like it was Sunday, no problem at all. Exactly one week from uh, yes, from today, and uh, you know you don't care why because you want the next thing. You want the next thing. It's my AMA. You don't like it? Fucking leave. What's the most stressing thing that you have to deal with daily, and how do you think we can reduce the stress? I think, Luis, uh, the most stressful thing is the unfairness of unrealistic expectations. You know, you tell people, okay, we're going to go do something. It's going to take years to decades to fully realize. Here are the rules. Here's how we're doing it. This is how we're building. If you want to be part of it, join. And if we were judged whether we're achieving those expectations or not, there's no stress in that because, you know, you're either delivering or not delivering. But then what happens is that people imprint unrealistic expectations on top of this. Like this project will make me unbelievably wealthy uh, or it'll make people like me or somehow it's going to transform my entire life tomorrow. Now, you never told them that. You never did that. Yet they hold you accountable to those unrealistic expectations. And then when they're not met, they viciously attack you. And if it's one person, and but it's a lot of people over Twitter, Reddit, Telegram, many other channels, and they become distractions to your ability to execute. What we did this month is we launched as a project, Smart Contracts. And this is a completely new model for how to build decentralized applications. And it's a very advanced model and it's an incredibly well thought out model. But then what's happened is that immediately People in industry came in and they applied an expectation of, well, it's out. Where are the 25,000 dApps? Uh, where, uh, where's all the commercial use? Where's all this stuff? It didn't happen tonight. All right, scam. It's over. Everything you've done is wrong. You didn't solve the concurrency issue. There is no concurrency issue. Yet you see dozens, hundreds of tweets about this. People talk about it. Uh, I've had musicians <laughs> message me over private message on Twitter asking, is Cardano Okay. I've been hearing really nasty things. And you're just like, what is going on? This is so nuts. That's the most stressful thing because you can't win. You can't make those people happy. And then when you don't make them happy, they they personally attack you. And they say that you're the world's worst human being and rah, 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 rah. And it just creates so much toxicity. So it's a constant challenge to just keep your nose to the grindstone and keep building and building and building and building. And you'll notice it's never enough. No matter what milestone you accomplish, when Coinbase, when this, when Shelly, when Gogan, when that, when this, when this, when that, when government deal, when Cardano Nation, when this, when this, there's always the next one after you've done it. And it's never ending. And then when you try to do anything to show diversity of thought, like demonstrate that you have other interests outside of Cardano, then you get accused of somehow hurting the project or not making people money or these other things. They treat you like a slave in that respect. It's a, it's this bizarre notion. And it's more endemic of the people who, who believe this way. They're just looking for some hope, I guess. I don't know. But it's very stressful and it's very grating. And um, it wears you down. It drains you. You don't get to feel the wins. You don't get to feel like the ups. You just get the downs. And there's only so many days of downs before you need to just take a break and recharge and, you know, get back to it. 